Hi there. <laughs> hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. If you clicked on this video, it's because you've gotten a violation notice from MailChimp, and I'm going to go through with you the different types of violations you may have incurred, why you may have gotten it, and what to do about that. Um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And most importantly, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and a little thank you in the comments so that other people can find it as well. Today, I'm going to cover these three kinds of violations. One is when you do an import and MailChimp or Omnivore flags it as being problematic. All of MailChimp's rules are housed in their standard terms of service and their acceptable use policies. The reason that you would be getting a violation from an import or because of hard bounces is right over here in your standard terms of use. I'm going to flip to that document now. Right here under general rules, the first rule is we don't send spam. And the second one is we don't use purchased, rented, or third-party list emails. This right here is the number one reason why your things are getting flagged. So in the United States, it is legal, you're allowed in the US, to email people who have not signed up for your emails. And I can reference that those laws as well. But it is against MailChimp's terms of service. So if you imported a list that you purchased, MailChimp's omnivore program runs tests on it and will flag it. They'll notice. And so that's why you're getting that violation. Having a lot of hard bounces, which is email addresses that don't work, or a lot of unsubscribes or abuse complaints, which is people marking them as spam, um, will also flag MailChimp that maybe these people didn't sign up for your emails or probably not. Now, it could be that they did and you just haven't used this list in a long time or something like that. And that's why MailChimp gives you a chance to explain that to them. So I will flip back over here. When you get one of these violations, you will get a button to resolve it. And for something like this hard bounces one here, you will get a message that reads something like this. It will say, hey, heads up, warning, you had a lot of bounces. We have rules about this, so you need to fix what you're doing so this doesn't happen again. You click that you understand, you hit submit, and it is resolved. Let's take a second to talk about strategies for fixing your list so that you don't run into this again. Um, like I mentioned, if this is a really old list that you haven't emailed in a long time, maybe the solution is to only email your most recent customers or clients who know who you are and who wanna hear from you. There are also programs that will clean your list for you. I've used Alfred, and zero bounce to do this. You will upload your list to them and they will clean it. They will clean out any of the dead emails, any of the ones that would have hard bounced, um, any ones that are questionable, and then you have a hygiene and cleaned list. I will link them below so that you can access them easily. The reason that MailChimp is so stringent about these rules when some other email platforms aren't is about deliverability. MailChimp wants email platforms to know that if an email is coming from MailChimp, it's not spam. Whereas if they allow everyone to email anyone from their platform, there will be a lot of spam coming out of MailChimp. And then MailChimp emails are more likely to be put into the spam folder, even if they're not. So it's to protect you. So this other violation here, this terms of service violation is a bigger, badder one. It could be that again, that they think that you're spamming. And so you need to answer some questions. They'll give you a questionnaire that you need to fill out to explain what happened and why you don't think you're in a violation. And then after you answer those questions, you'll probably get another email from compliance asking you more questions. Where did you get your list? How often have you emailed them in the past? Things like that. And I have found MailChimp's compliance department to be very thorough and also very fair. So if you made an honest mistake and you're gonna fix things, they like that. They're fine with that, it'll get squared away. The other time that this terms of service violation pops up is if you're in an industry that MailChimp does not allow on their account or monitors closely. So let's click over. That is in the acceptable use policy over here. So MailChimp again is very concerned with spam. And so they have industries that are, well, these are the illegal ones you're not allowed to do. These are industries that are legal, but cause a lot of problems where it comes to spam com spam complaints and things. Um, and so you are not allowed to use MailChimp to market these industries at all. And then there are these industries where MailChimp is going to use additional scrutiny. So you may get a violation, even if you haven't done anything wrong, 
because you're in one of these industries. And again, you'll get a chance to talk to compliance, or it could be that your thresholds for getting a violation are less because you're in one of these industries that could be problematic. Well, there we go. I hope that that helped you out. I know that this can be confusing and jarring when you get those violations, but if you're not breaking the rules or you broke them by accident, you should be able to talk to compliance and get that all squared away and go about your business. And it could be that MailChimp isn't the platform for you, in which case, now you know. Um, If this was helpful, don't forget to give me a little thank you in the comments and a thumbs up and uh, check out some of my other videos. I'll see you around.